What's going on guys? Car Review Guys here. We are back with the 2024 Mazda CX-90 and as you guys may or may, may or may not know if you've already watched the review, this trim level is the Turbo S Premium Plus. It is the highest trim level you are going to get on this all new 2024. Today we are going to be going over the five things to love and the five things to improve. So. If you want the full review, link will be down below. That is not what this is. This is a down and dirty, try to keep this under 10 minutes the best we can. So without further ado, let's roll. Stepping inside the vehicle, we are going to start with the five things to improve. And number one on the list, is in front of me and that is the rear view mirror. Looks super nice, love the frameless look, has home link which is great. Where the improvement comes in is an optional digital mirror because again, this is a third row SUV for those of you that don't know. Interior looks amazing, by the way. I have this seat just tilted forward. Uh, yeah, it looks great. But whenever you have someone back there in the back, it blocks the middle uh, just a little bit so if you have a digital mirror, uh, it doesn't matter. You wouldn't have to worry about someone being in the view of your mirror. So it is actually functional, not just a gimmick. So that would be nice to have on this as an option. Number two on the list, and just as a correction to my actual review video, for those of you that did watch it, it does have lane centering, okay? It, it is better than any other Mazda in history, period, it is. I, my improvement will be, honestly though, it, it needs to do a little bit better to be called lane centering. To me, it really is lane keep um, because it kind of floats back and forth in between the two uh, lines. Not a ton, it's not horrible, but for how nice this vehicle is, I expect it to be just a little bit better. So again, this is just a little improvement. I'm not hating on it, just a little improvement. Uh, so yeah, that is number two on this list. Number three, on the list is I wish there was an option for the interior on this highest trim level to where you can have an and or type of gig to get rid of this material because it is like a cloth and some of this hard plastic that's located down here and over on the speaker uh, back here you can kind of hear it it's hard plastic so that and then again this cloth is continued over here on the side so like, I can just imagine like over time with your elbow touching and stuff, like I know they put some gray in it to mix it up, but I can, I can see that getting dirty. Um, same thing with up here, anyone touching it, I can see the future of that getting pretty dirty. If it was leather, you just wouldn't have to worry about it. I personally would pay a little bit extra. While it looks incredible, I genuinely love the design, the way it's done. Uh, you can see it there, got a little pattern in there and everything, but from a functionality standpoint, uh, I don't know if this is the move again. So I would pay a little bit more to have, you know, full leather or wood or something that's easy to clean because I would not sacrifice this white interior. Like I love the white interior in this vehicle and even this wood, like look at how nice that is. Super nice. Number four on the list is here in the middle and that is the screen. I love the screen. It is high quality. Uh, it's a good size, everything about it. No complaints there. Where the improvement comes in is, it's not a touch screen. And I do wish that it was a touch screen to where you could change things. Um, I know Mazda feels strongly that this is distracting to have a touch screen. Again, I would argue, same as a review, that trying to do this is a little bit frustrating at times. It's not bad once you get used to it. Um, but where my compromise and my improvement would be is allow this to be a touch screen when it's in park. Because then while I'm just sitting here, I can touch through, do whatever I want quickly and then not worry about it. And if I'm driving, then use this. So I think that's a compromise to make Mazda stay with how they feel about it and allow us consumers in order to, you know, have a touch screen because at the end of the day, that is what we want. Number five on the list, and that has to do with the key fob, kind of. You're gonna see you have your lock, unlock, uh, your panic, and your rear hatch. There's nothing anywhere else. Obviously a Mazda logo. 
So my understanding is there is remote start. So it has the capability, but you can only do it through the Mazda app. You cannot do it through the key fob. If I'm wrong, comment down below. I've tried to read forums. I've, I've gone on Mazda's website. My understanding is you cannot do it from this. Like on other manufacturers, you can like hit the lock button and hold it for the third time and it'll work. I've tried numerous variations with the key fob. Does not remote start from the key fob from everything I've done. So I think there should certainly be a remote start button. Uh, for $60,000, it seems just basic and here in Arizona, probably see it's 96 degrees uh, it's gonna be like 103 or 104 today um, and yeah remote start is super nice not only for obviously the heat to have your cooled seats and all that stuff on even in the winter remote start is super nice to have so I understand the fun thing but I wish it was from the key fob Hopefully you guys enjoyed that cinematic. Okay, stepping outside, starting on number one of the five things to love, it's the exterior design. I mean, it looks really good. It really does. Like, just take a quick walk around here. Uh, I mean, you've got the LED lights, you have the attention to detail, the little runners and turn signals in between right there. Uh, keep coming around like I mean just look at it. It looks premium and especially this color with that white interior seeing it through the window Ooh, man. I mean it looks good. You've got the Mazda down there. You can see it also looks good. Love the wheels Just the exterior design is super super clean number two on the list is What is powering this it is an inline? Six cylinder, 340 horsepower paired to an eight speed transmission. So, if you're looking for something, and it is a mild hybrid, but uh, nonetheless, having a six cylinder again, oh, it's so nice. Reminds me of uh, vehicles several years ago because so many are just going to all four cylinder, and you can just feel the torque and everything behind this. I love it. It is just so, so good. Which brings me to number three. And that is the fact that it is all wheel drive, which the only thing I can do, obviously, from that perspective is show you the all wheel drive badging right there. So having that paired with everything else, it is just so fun to drive, especially for an SUV. I cannot brag about it enough. Definitely a driver's SUV. So if that's what you're looking for, this should be number one on your list. Number four, stepping on the inside, is the interior design. I mean, it's really beautifully done. Uh, the steering wheel has a pretty good design. Over on the left, like design-wise, it looks good. It's ergonomically correct. It's right where you'd want your elbow to go. Over here, you have two cup holders, not in the way of the gear shifter. This is easy to hold on to, to spin. It's exactly where your arm would lay. Uh, checking out the rear again it just everything about it I think they, they really did it correctly number five the final thing on the list is the tech um, now that we have the full digital instrument cluster we've got the heads-up display out there 
Uh, you have home link, you have uh, adaptive cruise control. It technically has lane centering. You guys know there's an improvement for that to get better, obviously, but it's still there. Uh, bright headlights, you've got your memory seating down here. There's a lot of tech in it, and I do really enjoy the tech. I mean, tech along with features, heated seats, uh, heated steering wheel, cooling seats. Um, that's even in the rear. The rear has the exact same stuff, except for obviously a heated steering wheel. Uh, but yeah, I mean, it really is nice. All of the tech in this vehicle, they've done a good job. And the cameras are like crystal clear. You can hit the button. I go over that in my full review as well. But yeah, the tech is great. So it had to make the list. Hopefully you guys enjoyed today's video. Even if this vehicle was not for you, we try our best to have a new vehicle every single week. And if not, we mess around with one of my cars, which uh, I've got several, but one of them is an Acura NSX, a 2017. Maybe not much longer, maybe. We'll see. We'll see. I don't know uh, if we're going to go to maybe a C8 Corvette for a little while. Still waiting for a C8 Z06. And we've got some other cars in the pipeline as well. So be sure to subscribe if any of those things interest you. And as always, I'll catch you guys on the next one. Peace.